Why, hi, Mac, and anyone who might be watching episode 102 of Grammar Day. Mm, read stories for Mac. Uh, so I got this one. I had to order this from the library. It's Yertle the Turtle and Other Stories by Dr. Seuss, Pictures and Illustrations. Although, fun fact, uh, it's Yertle the Turtle, and there's one more story. So it really should be Yertle the Turtle and one other story. <laughs> I had to, I'm an English teacher. Mm, just saying. Um, fun fact about this. Uh, I remember when I was a kid and we lived way out at like 22 and a half mile China Hot Springs Road. And we had like an outhouse and a greenhouse and a tiny, um, everything was tiny. And uh, we had to heat the house with wood. And I think it was one of those stories where you're like, I had to walk in the snow to school. That's a, that's a whole other thing. Cause that was a fact. That's a whole worst day ever. Um, and uh, we were in the 4-H and all that kind of stuff. Uh, anyway, I remember my Aunt Nita, so that's Nana's littlest sister. She uh, sent us this book, my brother and I, and or I guess she should send it to me, my brother and me. Don't want to be an English teacher and then use the wrong uh, pronoun. Anyway, she read this to us on a cassette tape and then um, and sent us the book. So it's kind of like this, but back in the day. So it was... Um, on a, on a little cassette. I'll show you what a cassette is. And then it's funny because I like turtles and look, Nana sent me the, these. She was saying slow and steady wins the race. Mm, hi. So anyway, I'm gonna read this story and then this, the other story that comes with it, I'll read tomorrow. Here we go. You're all the turtle and other stories by Dr. Seuss. There he is. Yertle the turtle. Let's see if I can read it. Maybe if I get it real close. On the faraway island of Sala Masan, Yertle the turtle was king of the pond. A nice little pond. It was clean. It was neat. The water was warm. There was plenty to eat. The turtles had everything turtles might need. And they were all happy. Quite happy indeed. Aww. I don't know why the water's green, but they're turtles. There he is. They were until Yertle, the king of them all, decided the kingdom he ruled was too small. I'm, no, don't move. Why is it moving? Here, maybe if I go here, then I can read the word, words. I'm ruler, said Yertle, of all that I see, but I don't see enough. That's the trouble with me. Mm. This, <laughs> with this stone for a throne, I look down on my pond, but I cannot look down on the places beyond. This throne that I sit on is too, too low down. It ought to be higher, he said with a frown. Mm. If I could sit high, how much greater I'd be. What a king. I'd be ruler of all that I see. Mm, sounds familiar to some other people I have met in my lifetime. It says, so Yertle the Turtle King lifted his hand and Yertle the Turtle King gave a command. He ordered nine turtles to swim to his stone and using these turtles, he built a new throne. He made each turtle stand on one another's back and he piled them all up in a nine turtle stack. And then Yertle climbed up. He sat down on the pile. What a wonderful view. He could see most a mile. Woo. All mine, Yertle cried. Oh, the things I now rule. I'm king of a cow and I'm king of a mule. I'm king of a house and what's more beyond that, I'm king of a blueberry bush and a cat. I'm Yertle the turtle, oh marvelous me, for I am the ruler of all that I see. Look. He sees everything all high up on that nine turtle stack. And all through that morning, he sat there up high saying over and over, what a great king am I? Until long about noon, and he heard a faint sigh. What's that? Snapped the king. And he looked down the stack, and he saw at the bottom a turtle named Mac. <gasps> Although, look, this one is spelled M-A-C-K, but still, Mac. Just a part of his throne, and this plain little turtle looked up and he said, Beg your pardon, King Yertle. I have pains in my back and my shoulders and knees. How long must we stand here? Your majesty, please. Look at 
that Mac brave for speaking up. Mm -hmm. Silence! The king of the turtles barked back. I'm king, and you're only a turtle named Mac. Look at that screaming. Oh my goodness, Yertle. You stay in your place while I sit here and rule. I'm king of a cow and I'm king of a mule. I'm king of a house and a bush and a cat. But that isn't all. I'll do better than that. My throne shall be higher. His royal voice thundered. So pile up more turtles. I won't want about 200. Goodness gracious. Turtles, more turtles. He bellowed and brayed, and the turtles way down in the pond were afraid. They trembled, they shook, but they came, they obeyed. From all over the pond, they came swimming by dozens, whole families of turtles with uncles and cousins, and all of them stepped on the head of poor Mac. One after the other, they climbed up the stack. Look at that. Look at, look at my little man, Mac. He's just getting climbed on by 209 turtles. Then Yertle the turtle was perched up so high, he could see 40 miles from his throne in the sky. Hooray, shouted Yertle, I'm king of the trees. I'm king of the birds. I'm king of the bees. I'm king of the butterflies, king of the air. Ah, me, what a throne, what a wonderful chair. I'm Yertle the turtle, oh, marvelous me, for I am the ruler of all that I see. Hmm, I'm thinking a couple words, narcissist, megalomaniac. It's all right, it's all right. Then again from below in the great heavy stack came a groan from the plain little turtle named Mac. Your majesty, please. I don't like to complain, but down here below we are feeling great pain. I know up on top you are seeing great sights, but down at the bottom we too should have rights. We turtles can't stand it. Our shells will all crack. Besides, we need food. We are starving, groaned Mac. Look at that turtle advocate go. Yay, Mac. Way to speak up. You hush up your mouth, howled the mighty King Yertle. You've no right to talk to the world's highest turtle. I rule from the clouds over land, over sea. There's nothing, no nothing, that's higher than me. Look at him. I don't know what this screen is doing, but I wish it would stay still. I wish I was king of the screen. But while he was shouting, he saw with surprise that the moon of the evening was starting to rise up over his head in the darkening skies. What's that? Snorted Yertle. Say, what is that thing that dares to be higher than Yertle the king? I shall not allow it. I'll go higher still. I'll build my throne higher. I can and I will. I'll call some more turtles. I'll stack them to heaven. I need about 5,607. What in the world are you thinking? Oh, now you zoom out? Now you zoom out, screen? Oh, now you're just messing with me? I am not doing this. It is, okay. I'm just going to say it. I think AI is real. And I think it's living in my screen, messing with my recording. <sighs> but as Yertle the Turtle King lifted his hand and started to order and give the command, that plain little turtle below in the stack, that plain little turtle whose name was just Mac, decided he'd taken enough and he had. And that plain little lad got a little bit mad and that plain little Mac did a plain little thing he burped Blech. and his burp, burp shook the throne of the king. Look at him. Okay, come on, computer. There you go. He probably got pressed out of him with all that turtle stacked on top of him. And Yertle the turtle, the king of the trees, the king of the air and the birds and the bees, the king of a house and a cow and a mule, well, that was the end of the Turtle King's rule. For Yertle, the king of all solemn sand, fell off his high throne and fell plunk in the pond. And today the great Yertle, that marvelous he, is king of the mud, that is all he can see. And the turtles, of course, 
All the turtles are free, as turtles and maybe all creatures should be. Look at that. And there's Mac. Save the day for all the turtle kingdom. Thanks, Mac. And I love you, Mac. I'll see you tomorrow with the other story singular in this book. <laughs>